Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install VMware Workstation Player on your Windows 11 operating system. So for those of you who don't know what is VMware Workstation Player, VMware Workstation Player is a tool which will allow you to install any operating system virtually on your host operating system. So let's say you want to install Ubuntu operating system virtually on Windows 11. VMware Workstation Player will allow you to install Ubuntu operating system virtually on your host operating system, which is Windows 11. So let's see how we can install it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for VMware Workstation Player. And the first link which will appear here will be from vmware.com. So just click on this link. I will put this link in the description of this video also. So you can directly click on this link and then you can come to this web page directly. Here you need to scroll down a little and you will be able to see uh, two options here. VMware Workstation Player for Windows and for Linux. We want to install it for Windows. So we will click on the download now button on Windows. And it's going to start the download of this VMware Player exe file. So just wait for the download to complete. So once this exe file is downloaded, we are going to just click on this exe file and I'm going to minimize the browser. So at the first stage, you just need to click on yes. And then it's going to start the installation of VMware Workstation Player. So now I can see the first window on this installation wizard. So I will just click on next here. And then on the next window, you need to just read these license terms and conditions. And if you agree with those, just check this checkbox and click on next. And now I can see the next window where you can uh, provide the path where you want to install VMware Player. If you don't have the good reason to change this path, just leave it as default. And then uh, you can just leave this checkbox as checked, which will add the VMware Workstation Console tool into your system paths. You can also check this checkbox which says enhanced keyboard driver and this will require a reboot so i will just check this checkbox also and then click on next and then on the next window just leave everything as default and then click on next leave everything default on the next window also and then click on next and then click on install which is going to start the installation process and now i can see this uh, shortcut is created on the desktop for vmware workstation player and the process is still going on. So I will wait for some more time. And now at last you will see this window which says completed the VMware player setup. So you can just click on finish and you can see it's going to show you this warning because VMware player has installed some drivers which requires the manual restart. So if you click on yes here, it's going to restart your Windows 11 operating system. For now, I will just click on no because I will restart my Windows 11 manually, right? So once this uh, VMware Workstation Player is installed, you can just click on this icon, which is going to start the VMware Workstation Player. And for the first time, when you start VMware Workstation Player, you're going to see uh, this warning. So for now, I will just leave it as default, which is use VMware Workstation Player free for non-commercial use. So I will just select the first option and then click on continue and then click on finish, which is going to start the VMware Player on your Windows 11 operating system for the first time. Now here you can see the interface looks like this. And whenever you want to create a new virtual machine, you will click on this create a new virtual machine option. So this is how you can install and use VMware Workstation Player on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.